Devin with Integrity Roof and Painting. We're here at one of our roof builds. I uh, was explaining one of the common things here in Colorado Springs, um, talking about ice and water uh, requirements. We are in El Paso County. The requirement is any uh, roof truss above 7,000 feet in elevation requires ice and water be installed at the eave. Um, we'll go into the specifics on how that is going to happen here in a second. I just want to point out where we are in um, Springs. As you can see over there, that's uh, beautiful Pikes Peak. Um, which sits at about 14,000 feet. We're here on the outskirts of Black Forest uh, and Monument, which uh, puts us closer to about 8,000 feet, exceeding that 7,000 threshold, 7,000 feet tre threshold we talked about. Um, now we're here, and uh, they're, they're already starting here on the eaves, installing the ice and water, and then pass that to synthetic underlayment. We're gonna walk over there, and we're gonna discuss how we figure out how much courses we actually need um, before the, the roof build occurs. All right, so we're here at the roof eaves. Uh, edge and what we're doing here is as you can see this one has uh, an extra long overhang but you always just want to double check the typical threshold is about 16 um, inches is the typical overhang but we have an extra long overhang this is actually reading about 29 inches here uh, 29 and a half to be exact all right so we're back down on the ground uh, as we just discussed we measured the overhang which is 29 inches now what we're going to do is we're going to take that data, we're going to go to the truck, do some math, and that's how we'll figure out how much we need to order. Um, what we're going to also discuss is the other components like the wall width, um, and then uh, how we figure that out and what we're doing, pitch factor, different things like that. Okay. And, and so while we're here uh, to measure the wall width, we have a nine inch wall width. This actually goes back a little bit further. We have a garage door here. So we're going to use that in the math calculations when we're figuring out the ice and water shield needed. Okay, so we're just going to demonstrate. We have our, uh, we just measured the overhang and the wall width. We're going to demonstrate uh, what you should do from the beginning of the job, what you should discuss with the insurance as far as how much ice and water is required by code, as well as um, when you're ordering material, how much should be ordered. So what we do is we have the um, overhang. We start with that, which we um, discussed was 29.5 inches. And then, and we're going to start at inches because of the code requirement. Then we're going to add the nine inches that we had for the wall width, plus the 24 inches that is the code requirement. That puts us at 62.5. Now that's completely at a linear plane. You have to account for the pitch factor. And so in this case, it's a 612. So we're going to times that by 1.118. That's going to put us at 69.87 inches. We're going to convert that to feet by dividing by 12. And that puts us at right about 5.82 feet. Now, ice and water membrane comes in three foot widths. So two courses will put us at six feet above that 5.82 threshold. 